Right lads, here's a wee poem called The Dragon. Um, it's about dragons. It's also about growing up and what happens when you realise that um, fairy tales do not reflect how life turns out. Anyway, I've rambled on enough. Here's the poem. Take me back to seventeen, when I was whole and quite pristine, and monsters lived in fairy tales and under beds. But now, you see, they hold a court inside our heads. An evil, sexy, wicked witch, a psycho, nutcase, frigid bitch began to dance, and in her palm she held the power to entrance. A hero fell upon his sword, she hung upon his every word, he held her tight enough that she might break. The glittering, shining, flawless glint of gold so fake. She loved and lost and heart and bled, and on her pain a dragon fed and grew in strength. The tendrils wrapping round her mind increased in length. To slay the beast, she took a pill which promised her that it would kill the demon dead. And yet, he curled up, sleeping, still, inside her bed. A dormant dragon, though asleep, has claws which can inflict such deep, unending pain. And so, our hero lies in wait to bleed again. Don't drag me back to seventeen when I thought I would be the queen so pure and sweet. Instead... I'd rather kingdoms knelt beneath my feet. Proud empires fall and bad blood spills and even if my dragon kills me in the end, I'll curl myself around his scales and call him friend. Thank you very much. <laughs>